Hello and welcome to the Zenata Consulting tutorial series. Uh, this one is on Zoho Mail and we're going to talk about some basic settings. So what you're going to need to do is just go to mail.zoho.com. You'll be in your home screen here. Now, the interesting thing about Zoho Mail is it also encompasses several other apps. You've got Calendar Tasks, which by the way is completely being revamped, Notes, Contacts, Bookmarks. So when you go into the settings, which is in the upper right-hand corner here and you click it, you're going to be presented with a whole bunch of settings, which may or may not apply. Uh, thankfully, Zoho breaks these down for you. So if you wanted to do mail, you can just click on mail and it's going to limit you to uh, just the settings you want to look at. Today, we're going to focus on signatures. So what I'm going to go in here is I'm going to look at my signatures and you'll see I've got a basic signature set up here. You can do some things when replying, forwarding, place this signature above the original quoted mail and you have your signature and you'll notice it's associated with an address. Um, you may think, well, that's all I need. What other address could I associate it with? Well, if you have a group or if you have set up an alias, as we talked about in our previous videos in this series, then you may want to set up a completely different uh, email signature for that. So all you're going to do is click add signature. And what I actually have done here is I have created an alias called support at brokenpretzel.com. So I'm going to choose that this email goes directly to that. So by doing so, basically what you're doing is anytime someone replies to you at support or emails you at support, and when you reply, it's going to put this signature in and not your personal signature. So basically very simple. Um, kind of just mimic the other one. We'll do all the best. And instead of your name, you know, the support team at Broken Pretzel. And then of course your phone number, but you get the idea. Very straightforward, just kind of another way to separate your signatures, separate your replies, reply from a different signature and kind of handle everything kind of separately. So real easy to set up your email signatures, real easy to set up as many email signatures as you would like. Uh, the WYSIWYG editor is very good. It does also take straight HTML. So if you've got a beautiful HTML signature, you can just go ahead and paste it directly into here. Uh, there are a lot of services that allow you to create those. Makes it real, real simple to do. So that's setting up an email signature inside of Zoho Mail. Hey, we hope you found this useful. And if you want more information from us, please be sure to subscribe to us on our YouTube channel. And don't forget our newsletter. Just go to zanata.com slash newsletter to subscribe to that. Every week, we give you all the latest and greatest Zoho news, tips, tutorials, and also a link to the CRM Zen show where we talk about all things Zoho every week. Thanks for listening.